Kickstarter. Oh, um, uh, well, basically it was an idea we had to try to help fund the recording part of the of the whole release. So we had some people that we knew that said it was actually their idea. They gave us the idea. They helped us get everything together, and uh, basically we tried to raise ten thousand dollars to help record. And we ended up raising, well, it says 60000 on the website, but it's actually was forty five at the end because some money doesn't come to you. But so, we, yeah, it worked out great. The fans uh, came through. And the beautiful, beautiful part of it is that they get special things like uh, some of Donald's drums, the cymbals. We sold some of Donald's cymbals. And we have special packaging for the Kickstarter people and t shirts and stuff. So it's really cool for the fans to help. You know. Records, what is the, the relationship with Relapse? With well, Relapse? There. Yeah, um, well, Relapse basically, we, uh, we at first we were going to do the whole album by ourselves. We were going to, we were on hiring third parties like uh, marketing companies and distribution companies. And then Relapse came to us with, an, with a, a package deal to market, distribute, press the album for us. And when you took all the numbers and put them together, it made more sense to hire Relapse to do this. So we made a partnership with them. It's not a traditional contract. Uh, we basically call all the shots. They ask us, can we do this? Can we, we want to do this? Can we do this? And we're like, okay, you can do this, this, and this is okay. So it's beautiful. It's like, basically like we're running the show. So it's a good thing. And um, they have a lot of experience in the industry, obviously. They've been around 25 years. So it's a really good partnership. Now you are playing in Europe, in summer festivals. Do you think with the new album you will do any tour with? Yeah, yes. Uh, well, this right now, what we're doing is uh, we haven't toured in Europe for two years. So we decided, uh, our agent was like, we should do some festivals to get people excited about the new album. And then we're going to go, after this, we go to the U.S. and we do some touring in the United States with Carcass and with... With tour, no? Huh? With a tour? Yeah, a tour in, in the U.S. And then uh, January, we're planning a tour for January and February um, back in Europe. So, yeah, so we'll come back for a regular tour. And then next year, some more festivals and stuff. Goats, what's up? Okay. You are playing a few new songs from the new album. And yes. what is the, from the crew? The fans? Yes. Yeah, it's great. Uh, yeah, we play these new songs. And the first couple of times we played them, the people never heard them, obviously. So the reaction was like, they, they already had the album, it seemed like, uh, which is amazing because sometimes you never hear a song, you know, you don't know how to react yet. But it's almost like it's something we've done before. It's amazing. So it's definitely a classic obituary song. All three, we're doing three. And now that it's on the internet, on YouTube and stuff, people know them more. But, but it's amazing. Uh, the crowd really gets into it. it. Makes us happy. Very happy. And uh, what do you think that for make a, a great uh, death metal song, what do you mean? From the heart, it's gotta come from the heart and the soul. Uh, it doesn't have to be a million. It doesn't have to be really fast. Like some people think that death metal is nothing but fast stuff, but uh, to me, I think a death metal song or a death metal band is more slower and punchy, groovy, uh, very intense though. You know, so uh, obituary. <laughs> and your favorite obituary song? I don't know, it's hard to say. I mean, we have like a hundred songs, so. But uh, I really love our new album. The new songs are fun to play because they're fresh, you know? Like uh, tonight, the first song we play for the new album is uh, called Visions in My Head. It's a perfect song to me. It's like, when I hear it, I can't believe we wrote it. It's like, what the hell? How did we come up with this? It's, we're like 45 years old and still making good shit. <laughs> 
Someone stole our backdrop. Yes, I know. You probably heard of this. Yes. That was the most strangest thing because we've toured. Oh uh, hell! Let me see, it's 2014. We've been touring for 25 years, and we we have all of our backdrops from day one, from the very beginning. We've never lost one or had. And then we had these new. There were two new ones we made: a small one and a big one of just our logo in red with black. And uh, it was a smaller one. We were playing in Holland, and uh, the local crew folded it up and handed it off to somebody on the wrong side of the stage, and it, it disappeared. And it's funny, because in 25 years, nothing like this has ever happened. So, whatever, that was pretty interesting, to be honest. But we get, actually, today, right now, we got a brand new one, a small one. That we replaced it. The company who made it, they brought it today, actually. So, we got a small one. But tonight, we'll use our big one. So. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, it's all good.